this next lady, woman, wife, mother, is an inspiration to us all as a leader and as a certain grace. When I think of uh, Colleen, I think of grace. She walks with grace. She speaks with grace. And I, I think it's just phenomenal. I just want to celebrate you for that. Toastmasters International uh, developed the Leadership Excellence Series as a free downloadable resource for any member to access for club or personal development. Members wishing to complete their advanced leadership rounds must present two speeches from the leadership or successful club series. This morning, Colleen will share how we can participate in the success of our club through our personal growth as competent communicators and leaders. As Vice President of Education, Colleen is confident that before nine will achieve all of its distinguished club goals this year. Her desire is that the before nine members attain positive benefit from their participation in this club. Please utilize the notes provided to craft your own personal or professional vision and complete a short resolution to inform Colleen how she can help you achieve the outcome you desire for yourself. From the Leadership Excellence Series, project number one, the visionary leader, please welcome with a great applause, Colleen Sidek for a 10 to 15 minute speech. Thank you.
What does a vision provide? Clear direction. A vision vanquishes indecision. The author of Alice in Wonderland, Lewis Carroll, says, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. <laughs> Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Follow me and you will have abundant life. Can I hear an amen? Amen. <laughs> a vision provides a context for decision making. When effective, the vision statement has an illuminating quality that allows organizations to move fast with great precision. For myself, I have a vision that I will be healthy and high functioning at 80. So when I'm in the grocery store, I have very clear decision-making abilities with that vision in mind. I avoid the junk food aisle. <laughs> a vision provides inspiration. Gandhi said, I must, be, I must first be the change I want to see in the world. A visionary leader knows that he must lead by example and that his leadership will have a powerful impact on this generation and generations to, to follow. A vision provides people-oriented relationships. Starbucks' vision is to share excellent coffee with friends and make the world a little better. We all love our Starbucks, don't we, Anthony? We do. <laughs> so creating a vision statement. We definitely want to involve the team members. That promotes a willingness to achieve the goals. It also allows members to control their own futures. It fosters cooperation and collaboration. And it allows creativity to occur. Now, I'm going to invite you all to help me in my vision as Vice President of Education. I'm going to pass around a couple of papers for you. And while I'm, gonna, while I'm doing that, while you're getting these papers, there'll be two go around. I'm going to show you what I did eight years ago with some friends of mine. We created vision boards. Now, eight years ago, I was in a very different place than I'm in today. So my vision back then was to increase my spirituality, first and foremost. God is at the center. I wanted to be 10 pounds thinner, so I put that up there. I gathered pictures from magazines or from the website. Family is very important, so I wanted to nurture our family with vacation, with tranquil thoughts. I wanted to grow together, share love. Eight years later, I've actually achieved most of these things that I had a vision for. This sits in my closet, so I see it every day. It's like the law of attraction. So I encourage you, this works well with families, with teenagers, with friends. So this is an easy way to put together a personal vision and have it in sight often. Now, do you all have papers in front of you? The pink paper, I want you to fill out and return to me at some time today. It's pink, so I don't want you all taking it home. Give it back. <laughs> the white sheet is for you to take home and to create your own personal vision statement. So crafting a vision requires questions. So if I could have your attention for a few minutes, we're going to do a question and answer period together about our organization, B49 Toastmasters. The first question is, what is most important to this organization? Anybody? Members. Members? Everybody grows. Everybody grows. Any others? Adding value to each other. Adding value. Uh, momentum. Momentum is great. We want, yes. Very good. We're developing our character. We're developing our leadership and communication skills with all of those resources that you mentioned. What does this organization do very well? Jessica Keys, our area governor, was here last week. She is 
some of you missed that. She announced that B49 Toastmasters is the premier club in this area. We are. We are an example to other clubs. We do everything well, really. But especially we're welcoming. Would you agree with that? Wonderful. We want to be welcoming and we want to be supportive, as Julie said, nurturing to each other. What makes our organization unique? What does our what is unique about our club? Spiritually based. Yes, it is. Anything else? In the morning, meeting in the morning. Yes. So those are two things. Oh, Lisa. High energy. <laughs> Yeah, if you attend some other Toastmaster meetings, which I have in the last month, we do have a very energetic, high-energy club. We meet in the morning, and we're spiritually based. That makes us very unique. Diversity of confidence. That's true. We have advanced speakers, and we have beginners, which adds value. And finally, what do you expect from the 4-9 Toastmasters? Anybody? What would you like to receive from this club?